Hey everyone, this is Walt from Tilta, and in today's video, I'm going to show you the new easy mode on the latest firmware update for the Nucleus M. So here we have our basic two motor setup. We have our motor here on our Focus and on our Iris here. Uh, we've calibrated the motors, so those are ready to go. Um, we have uh, nothing synced up. Uh, all our channel numbers are mixed up here, as well as our motor numbers. We don't have really anything assigned. So to get into the easy mode, uh, you look for your, uh, we suggest the focus motor here, and then you're gonna press the up and down arrow buttons at the same time. So hold them down. After a couple seconds, you're gonna see on the display that it says easy mode. Uh, the same thing with the handles, you hold down the menu button and the down arrow button here on the side. Hold it down for a couple seconds and you should see it goes into easy mode. Same thing with the other side. Hold it down, go to easy mode. So now that our motors and our handles are set up in easy mode, Let's go into the hand unit and set up easy mode there. So we're gonna go into the menu. So inside of menu, you'll see under the wireless menu, you'll have two new options. Uh, under 2.4G and blue, you will have easy RFID and easy only RF. So the main difference between easy RFID and only RF is that easy RFID will assign the channel number for all of the system, as well as assigning motor numbers for your system. Uh, easy RF only, uh, only assigns the channel number. So if you already have your motors configured to a motor number that you like, uh, just go to only RF to just assign that channel number. Uh, if you want a faster way of getting into this menu, uh, if you're back on the homepage, you just press down the up and down arrow buttons at the same time, hold them down, and it should get you straight into that RFID. Uh, so now we have a menu here that says easy mode RF and ID channel number, so you're gonna assign the channel number that you want with the up and down arrows. I'm gonna choose four, enter. It's gonna search. Once it searches for a signal, be sure to keep your hand unit within a meter of your motors and your handles. Now it says handle left and right, as well as motor one and two for my two motors. Press enter again to configure it. And now you can see on my menu system, we have channel four. On the handles, we have channel four here and channel four. And then on the motors, you'll see that we're assigned to channel four. You have motor number one, motor number two. So on the hand unit, you can see my focus is set. My iris is set up. If I switch over to my handles, you can see my focus is set here. My iris is set here. You don't necessarily need to keep them in that, in that configuration. You can always at any time change your uh, motor number and assign motor to any control. If you turn off the unit, and turn it back on. Uh, let's say if you cycle power, you'll see that the calibration settings and also the uh, channel numbers and motor numbers are still saved uh, when you power back up. All right, so for those that have three motors or more, I'm gonna show you uh, a little recap of everything that we've just done uh, with the three motor setup here on the Alexa Mini. So uh, for, these, uh, for this setup, uh, I already have my motor numbers assigned, but I don't have any of the channel numbers assigned on the motors or on the handles or hand unit. So uh, let's go and uh, into our easy mode one more time. Let's go to our focus motor here. We're gonna press up and down arrow and hold it down to engage the easy mode. And let's do that with the handles here, pressing menu and down arrow. So easy mode's active on each handle. And we're gonna go into our hand unit and go into the easy mode. Uh, since we do have the motor numbers assigned already, we're just gonna go into wireless and choose the easy only RF, which only assigns the channel number. So let's enter. I'm gonna choose my channel, uh, let's say, let's choose channel five, press enter. So now it's gonna search for the motors and the controllers. We have handle left and right and motor one, two, and three. So that's been assigned. Let's press enter. As you can see now, my hand unit has channel five, as well as each of the handles now has channel five set up and all three motors now have channel five. But you can also tell that uh, on each of the motors, uh, our motor number is still the same. So we have motor one, motor two over here, and motor three. And let's just check our settings. So now we got focus, zoom, and iris. Let's switch over to the handles. And now we got focus, zoom, and iris. And that's it. That's the easy mode for the Nucleus M's new latest firmware update. This is Walter from Tilta, and thanks for watching.